Hi, it's me again with Corel, Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And here's a little video about the transformation docker. And if you need, so I've got two objects and they're, they're not, they're symmetrical, but they're even, but they're not a like even six inches. And if you need to, a line of these touching, if you'll go to Windows, Dockers, and either Transform or Transformation, Transformation was in earlier versions, if you look, if you have it clicked on the right-hand side of it, it's going to tell you that object is 6866. It's going to make you an object. It's going to make that size. If you click on here, it's 6038, and I want one more. And you can put any amount in there if you want, you know, if you want 10 of them across because you've already got one, then you've got 10. So Corel will allow you to figure that out. Now we're 13. I want, uh, let's just say one copy because I picked two. And then if, so if you want to go down now, all you have to click is on this bottom one. And now it's going to tell you a negative and we want one copy and they're touching. So the transformation docker with the positioning will actually rotate or butt them up and tell you, you know, instead of having to type in that figure, it's going to automatically do that. Now, with that said, if you want a circle and you want it from the center, it's not going to do it. You have to take that number and move it over. But if you're on the, let's say we want to move it up that direction, it's going to move the X and the Y that distance apart. Now, it's not going to be touching anymore because it's moving it both directions. But this is pretty handy if you want to do, you know, to the left and then mark it up. And then if you want to go to the top and put it up. And if you want to go back to the side and, and duplicate it over, I ought to really move that over to so you can really see what's going on. So this one, we're going to go to the right one more time. Now I want to go up one more time. I'm making blocks as I'm going. I'm making a pattern. You know, we could go over up to, and then with just that one selected, we could go over to, and you're making a checkerboard type pattern in any dimension you want, just by moving the position. And then if we want to go, let me move these out of the way. You know, if you want to go down and you want six copies, it's going to go back and then put it over here and put apply and then go up and then apply. And it's just going to keep doing what you're asking it to do. But you don't have to put in that increment. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.